Ladies and gents, we have the Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband C band N77 coverage maps are up. Now, it is a combined couple of items here. You get 4G LTE mapped, you get the 5G nationwide, which is their DSS 5G low band, and you also get the 5G Ultra Wideband millimeter wave and C band combined. So, let me explain to you guys what this looks like. So, here's a map of the country. And these are locations, top 46 PEAs. And in those top 46 PEAs, they also map out the 5G ultra wideband millimeter wave. So you get the C band access and the millimeter wave combined with one particular color. So what I want to do is show you guys as I zoom into Ohio, here's what you kind of start to see once you zoom in. All right. After the update to this map, and a lot of people were curious as to why we didn't get a coverage map right away. It was the airlines. They changed everything. They did two things. Number one, they demanded exclusion zones. So team, uh, Verizon had to go in and change the map, excluding those areas by airports that were affected by that buffer zone where no C-band could be turned on. And then some of those areas actually got modified. Now we're starting to see that the FAA and the airline industry are permitting certain airports and, and areas where they can actually turn on the C-band and N77. So here in Ohio, you've got a few locations across the state that are littered. Okay. So this is the Columbus area here. All right. I can probably make it out there to do some testing here in the Southwest as well. I'll show you guys where some of that actual coverage is. And this particular spot has it kind of like on the periphery here. This is Cincinnati. So they got some I don't see them included as an exclusion buffer zone. It looks like, I don't know, Columbus has a pretty decent little coverage area there in the surrounding few counties. All right, so that's good. Cincinnati looks to be very similar. Let's get up to the CLE area here. All right, now my market is considered, I guess, by the engineering team to be like Cleveland Akron. So you'll see that there are a couple counties over, we got it. Uh, a couple counties below, we got it. Akron, the surrounding areas there. I'm guessing probably the university, the surrounding area. But you also see it here. This is all rural, right? Once you get below Akron, you're talking about, you know, more suburbanish, ruralish areas. And it's there. And that's good to know, right? These are not well developed cities like you would say, for example, Cleveland. All right. Now I'm going to be doing some testing. I've already done some. Some of this I've already tested. But now that I know it's kind of here, I want to show you guys something. These are ultra wideband millimeter wave, all this stuff in Lakewood, all this stuff in downtown, uh, what I'm going to be testing and, and Parma's out here too, right? Here's around the airport. So that means C band is up because this is not millimeter wave. So they've gone ahead that, that confirms there is C band out here. Uh, this is Brook park. Uh, we got Berea. All right. So I'll be doing some testing out there. I'm not sure if this is millimeter wave here. I, I drive these all the time. I've, I have a feeling all this right here, this is all C-band. Brooklyn Heights, it looks like it's covered. Cuyahoga Heights, I can test those things. All right, so I'm excited about that all the way out to Valley View. I've tested some of these sites too, by the way, out here in Valley View and Independence. Those are some of the first ones I tested. You get a little bit of scattered uh, coverage here in the North Randall. I've actually, I don't know if I've ever really spent much time in these this area. But Beachwood appears to be littered. Sh uh, Shaker Heights got some. All right, so I'll be testing all this. And I will report back to you all and let you know how the testing goes. All right, now, Pittsburgh is on there. You know, Dennis can test that. And then we can get you guys some coverage on the testing. All right. Um, so, like, here's the rest of Ohio. This is what you guys can see. Go ahead. You guys can go to the coverage maps on the Verizon website. This is verizon.com. Uh, forward slash coverage dash map forward slash and you guys can check this out so here's what the map looks like here's how you can read it uh, hopefully this helps you out and you guys have a good idea of what you can see and test uh, if you appreciated this give this video a like and a share subscribe for more turn on the bell notifications to never miss an upload links in the description for my patreon support us get exclusive access and content to videos not found anywhere else discounts on those mobile get promos just for supporting us email Twitter in the description box as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all on the next video. Peace.